Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Over the past couple weeks, I've been making a couple videos on like me going into the roster vaults, downloading a roster that you guys have made for me and using it in a video. And today we're gonna be doing the exact same thing. And it looks like for this one, we're gonna be doing an all switch hitting team. So this one's gonna be really, really good. And real quick, a huge shout out to Puig66 Rolls. He really didn't leave anything else that he wanted me to shout out, but I appreciate you. I know these rosters take guys a lot of time and I seriously, seriously appreciate it. I never would have thought that I'd actually get to the point where like people would wanna make me a roster for a video that I would make. A couple years ago, I didn't really expect anybody else to care but hey we're here now baby i appreciate you guys like if you told me in lb 17 that like 50 plus people would be making me like rosters and stuff that i'd have to do then i'd call you a little bit crazy but now it's it's getting wild so i appreciate you guys but either way let's go ahead and download this one real quick let's leave it a like and there we go. So in the description, it says the team's gonna be the Indians. It also includes Vendetti. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that name. If you guys don't know about Vendetti, the guy's an absolute legend. He can pitch from both sides. So he can pitch righty and lefty. Kind of nuts if you think about it and kind of broken. Could you imagine like Jacob deGrom being able to pitch from both sides? That's kind of disgusting. I mean, Pat's not Jacob deGrom. The guy really hasn't done insanely good in his own career, but it's still insanely impressive. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, then be sure to leave it a like. I'd seriously appreciate it. And here we go. Let's get into this team. So one of the things that did kind of like scare me a little bit it is that the pitching was 26th in the MLB and that is definitely not good if you think about it that is really really bad and straight out the gate on opening day I see that we're pitching Lance Lynn that is worrisome because Lance Lynn is definitely not an opening day pitcher at least from what I remember he's not an opening day pitcher so I'm a little bit worried about this pitching staff I'm sure the team's gonna be good but pitching staff though that's gonna get a little bit of a yikes and straight up from the scouting department it says that our right field is 30th our left field's 22nd and our pitching is 28th all right let's go ahead and check this this team this is gonna be either really really good or really really bad let's see let's go to the good part first the lineup is by far probably gonna be the best part about this team so let's go ahead and check it real quick three two one we got okay we got a good team i'm down for this and yo seeing all those s's is a little bit weird i'm not used to that but real quick let's run it down we got vr we got yon makata Cattel Marte, josh bell francisco lindor jose ramirez and carlos santana so they already got three indians i had no clue that all those guys are switch hitters i don't know why i thought that carlos santana only hit from the left side i keep forgetting that the guy actually can be a switch hitter. But either way, we got Ian Happ, Yasmani Grandal, Mundesi, we got Ozzy Albies, Tucker Barnhart. This team really is stacked up. Okay, what about the pitching staff though? That's where it's gonna get a little bit dicey. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see it. And pff, okay, all right, dude. <laughs> We got Lance Lynn, Dylan Bundy. We got Jake, Jeffrey, and then Tristan. Okay, not great. We got Emmanuel. Hey, baby, Emmanuel. All you Indians fans know it. I would be so upset if I was an Indians fan. They gave up Corey Kluber, and I get the contract's kind of big, but but for Delano DeShields Jr. and then a guy that's been pumping roids for like his entire career, that's kind of a yikes, but hey. We still got Emmanuel Class A on the team. We got Brian Shaw. We got Robbie Scott. We got Pat Venditti. There we go. Below him, we got Adovino, Taylor Williams, and then Kenley Jansen. Yeah, this team is gonna be tough, okay? It's gonna be tough. And real quick, the reason why the pitching is bad is because pretty much all of them have to be switch hitters. And that's kind of insanely difficult to come by when pitchers don't really hit unless they're in the National League. So this is gonna be really, really tough. Let's go ahead and get into it. Also, I just realized that Lance Lynn is 6'5 and 280. Oh my God, this guy's a machine. I guess I haven't seen much of Lance Lynn, but this dude is 280 pounds and 6'5. This dude could punt me to the moon. Like, what the heck is that? Either way, let's go ahead and get into this. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about, again, is the pitching. I'm just hoping that the offense can just carry us all the way through. So here we go. Come on, boys. Please don't suck. Offense, I need you severely. Okay, I need you so severely. Oh my God. Wait a minute. All right, what's up, guys? We're back. It's June 4th and it's the first year player draft. We actually just let the computer draft our team. But look who we got in the first round. I'm gonna be using this dude 100% for the bullpen. Look how lucky we just got. Daniel Ramos is a fire looking closing pitcher. He's 19, he's an A potential. But look, he can bat from both sides. He's a switch hitter, so we can use him. Oh my God, that's so lucky. He's a 97 potential. Oh my God, we got such a stud. I could care less about anybody else here. The fact that we got such a stud and he's a switch hitter. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, let's keep this thing going. Keep it moving. Right now, we're not really doing the greatest. We're around 500. You know, the pitching staff is kind of having a tough time, but it's fine. Either way, it's July 12th. Let's go ahead and see how everybody is doing. And right now, it's not really looking the greatest. It looks like we have a couple injuries too. Yeah, we got Yasmani Grandal down with a broken hand. Okay, he's coming back soon, but still, that's not good. And now the pitching staff. This is where the dumpster fire really comes into play. Well, first, here we go. Lance Lynn. I mean, considering everything, not horrible. Horrible. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot worse. Dylan Bundy, actually a lot better than I thought. Okay, Dylan Bundy, I see you, baby. I honestly don't get it, but Dylan Bundy does pretty solid in this game. Now, from my experience, the postseason is a completely different thing, but he's 
is actually kind of a glitch in the regular season. Just don't use him in the postseason. Down below him, we got Jake. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Six ERA. Okay, keep going. Jeffrey. Yeah, horrible. And then Tristan. Actually really good. Okay, Tristan, I see you. For a 22-year-old prospect, that is fantastic, dude. Let's go. Into the bullpen right now, we got Class A. He definitely needs some help. Okay, 7.23 ERA. Down below him, we got Robbie. Actually doing pretty good. Okay, Brian Shaw. Not so much. Then we got Pat. Oh, God. Okay. Adam, how about you? Again, not completely horrible. There's a lot worse in this bullpen. Taylor, garbage. And then Kenley. Probably the best. Oh God. Hey, at least my dude Kenley's got 23 saves so far. But yo, if I could find like any other pitchers that are switch hitters, I am so down because this is really, really bad. Cause I'm guessing the main goal for this entire thing is to make it into the postseason and or like win the World Series. If I had to guess, like that's the main goal of every single team. I'd say there's a better chance of me winning a billion dollars than this team actually winning a World Series with this pitching staff, okay? But if I could find any other good pitchers that somehow bat from both sides, like that is perfect. Like you don't even have to throw from both sides if you can just hit from both sides of the plate, that is perfectly fine with me. So please, somebody, is there anybody out there? I highly doubt it, but come on, please. And I'm sure I'm wasting a lot of time with this because, well, the guy that made this roster probably looked through all of this. That's the reason why he made this roster, but still. Like, this is just out of desperation at this point. Like, please, let there be one. 569 seconds later. We're all the way down in the 30s at this point. They were, oh my God, I was so excited. I got so freaking excited. And then we find out it's Lance Lynn. Okay, dude. All right. Okay, bro. I was actually so freaking excited, and then that happens. I can't believe it. In my head, I went, holy crap, he actually missed one, and he actually isn't horrible, but yeah, it just didn't seem to work out that way. It's fine. Yeah, I'm guessing no other pitcher can actually, like, bat from both sides of the plate. It's not normal, so it kind of makes sense. God dang it, dude. All right, bro, let's just go ahead and keep this thing going. This is gonna be real rough, okay? Just pray for me. We're gonna need a miracle, all right? We're gonna need a miracle. And I mean a miracle. Alexa, can I have a miracle, please? Miracles instances include resurrection of Jesus, holy fire, splitting of the moon, miraculous birth, and healing the ear of a servant. What the? <laughs> what? You know what? I need one of those. Whatever that was, I need one of those, okay? Alexa Wilden out here, what the heck was that? Also, did I hear that right when she said splitting the moon? What? I've never heard of anything like that. Like, what was that, dude? Splitting the freaking moon? What type of crazy dudes are thinking about that? And I looked away for one second and we finish off 95 and 60. I'll see you guys later. Like, bro, I know that I said winning the World Series, okay? But does this mean that I have a possibility of winning a billion dollars? Like, hey, I said that we have a better chance of winning a billion dollars than winning the World Series. If we win the World Series, does that mean I get a billy? Okay, if I can get a billy, I'm fine with that, dude. If I end up getting a billion dollars, I'll give a million to everybody that hits that subscribe button, okay? That's what I'm doing. That's my promise to you. Either way, let's just go ahead and check and see how the heck we even got here. I honestly don't get it. Like, it makes no sense to me how the heck we got here, but... I'm down for it. Let's go. Let's take a look. Jonathan VR, pretty solid season. Okay, Yo Makata. He was on the bench for like half the year, which is kind of nuts because I think he's going to be like a really, really good player. So I really don't know why he was riding left bench, but hey, I mean, we'll probably have to fix that for later. Got Cattel Marte down here. Absolutely fantastic. This guy's such a stud. Just recently too, he kind of became a stud. So that's actually really, really good. Josh Bell as well recently became a stud. This dude is on fire. Then below him, we got Francisco Lindor. This guy's always been a stud. Let's be honest. Jose Ramirez, the exact same. Ian Happ on the up and up, let's go, baby. Got Yasmani Grandal doing pretty solid. And then Ozzy Albies as our starting second baseman. Yeah, that's a little bit tough because he's not doing great. On the bench, we got Carlos Santana doing absolutely fantastic. We got Mendesi doing pretty good. We got Tucker Barnhart sucking. Got Aaron Hicks actually not doing horrible. And then Brayan. You know what? Out of 82 at bats, again, not horrible. The guy's got 26 and 29 power. I'm not worried about the home run total, but besides that, Fine, okay, it's fine. And then the miracle workings right here. Okay, let's go ahead and see how the pitching staff did. I know Lance Lynn did pretty solid. Again, I guess he's like good or something. I really don't know. I really didn't watch the Rangers last year because they weren't in contention for anything, so I didn't really care about him. But yeah, apparently Lance Lynn is back. He had like one bad season, but the man's back. Then we got Dylan Bundy down here. Again, to be honest for Dylan Bundy, not horrible. I'm super surprised at that. We got Tristan down here who actually choked so hard in the second half. He somehow went 15 and six, but he choked very, very hard in the second half. Got Jeffrey who did bring it back just a little bit and then Jake who brought it back a little bit but still these guys suck. The bullpen we got Emmanuel just not good. Let's go ahead and move on. Robbie pretty good. Brian he brought it back a little bit but still not great. Pat not great. Ottavino brought it back quite a bit. Taylor Williams again kind of sucks. And then Kenley pretty solid. Okay dude wow. And Kenley got 45 saves. That's the most he's gotten since 2016. So hey very good Kenley. Let's go. And did we somehow win any awards? 
A rookie of the year going to Tristan McKenzie. Okay, that's fine with me. For this, honestly, I would have said that Luis Robert should have won it, but you know what? Who cares? Let's just go ahead and keep going. Let's try to get some bang bang techniques or something and beat these Astros, okay? I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Game one, Lance Lynn, Zach Granke. Oh God. Lost it. Yeah, okay. Dylan Bunny versus Lance McCullers. Won that one somehow. Game three, Tristan McKenzie versus Justin Verlander. Okay, got smacked. And then Jeffrey versus Jose. I'm not even going to look because I already know the outcome. There we go. Actually, I looked. Yeah, what was that? I don't know what that guy just was doing right there. But yeah, five to six, Jeffrey had a 14.73 ERA. I hate this dude so much. Okay, I hate him. I hate him so much. Well, that wasn't exactly what I wanted, but we're going to be doing two more seasons of this. So get ready and let's just hope and pray that we can somehow have a miracle again. Hello, Alexa and get us to a World Series, okay? And pretty much in the offseason, we can't do anything. There's not like many switch hitters out there right now, so there's not much I could do. The only things I really can do are just sign back the guys that we already have, so there we go. Carlos Santana and Jonathan VR are both getting contracts. Let's just hope and pray that that's gonna be good enough. Either way, I'll see you guys at the start of 2021, and let's just, again, hope that we can make it to the postseason in 2021, because it's not looking that great right now. I'm surprised we even made it in last year, so I can imagine this year. And for 2021, we're coming in ranked 11th, which is about three more than 2020 we were like eighth in 2020 now we're 11th so that's not good at all 569 seconds later there's gotta be a glitch in the matrix or something we're 55 and 32 right now i mean it's gonna keep going up but what like legit what happened i'm not trying to stop it but what happened did we get those buzzers from jose altuve like what happened i literally don't understand all right, at the trade deadline right now, we're 69, nice, and 42. That's kind of nuts. Let's see how everybody else is doing in the league, though. We got, do we have the top spot? No, the Reds right now. Okay. Reds got 70, but we're the second best team right now in the MLB. That's nuts. And the only team that beat us out by one game happens to be the Reds. I can't believe that. Okay, let's just keep this thing going. And I'll see you guys at the end of 2021, and let's see if this is the year. I kind of feel it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel the miracle. 569 seconds later. There's no freaking way this just happened. We 101 games like what do you mean 101 games with this pitching staff we won 101 games is that not nuts to everybody else like what is that either way top to bottom jonathan vr doing fantastic yon makata finally played a full season could tell Marte was actually riding the bench for a little bit which makes absolutely no sense but he only played 83 games still did very good in those 83 games but that should not have happened josh bell hitting 40 like bro francisco lindor doing very good ozzy albies actually killing it this year there we go like to see that osmani grandal doing very good aaron hicks doing all right, and then Carlos Santana, fantastic. Now the pitching staff, how the heck is this gonna work? Lance Lynn, what the heck is that right there? 15 and three with 215 innings pitched with 221 strikeouts and a 3.14. All right, Lance, relax, my guy. What the heck happened to you? Okay, Lance, I see you, baby. What the heck? And then there's Dylan Bundy. All righty. For every team, there's at least one Dylan Bundy. Let's be honest, just not good. Tristan McKenzie, though, did fantastic. Matt Dennis, actually not horrible considering the rest of this pitching staff. So you know what? I'm down for it. And then Jeffrey, this guy just sucks. Like, honestly, he's so brutal. He's just not good. Like, I hate to tell him that, but God dang. In the bullpen, we got Jake. I mean, considering everything, not as bad as last year. Then we got Corey Black, fantastic. Robbie Scott, not as good. Brian Shaw, not as good. Then Taylor Williams, actually brought it back from last year. Wow. Adovino, definitely not as good. And then Kenley Jansen, fantastic. Let's be honest. It's Kenley Jansen. Come on. But we won 101 games. We tied the Astros. Like, what is that? But now it's time for the postseason. We're playing Minnesota. Okay, baby. We got Lance Lynn versus Jordan right now. Okay, Lance, I'm gonna need you right here, baby. There we are. Game two, Dylan Bundy versus Kenta Maeda. Okay, saw that coming from a mile away. Tristan McKenzie versus Jose Barrios. This is the real test right here. Come on, Tristan. Lost that one by one. Alrighty. And then Matt Dennis versus Ryu. Somehow won that one. Oh my God. Lance Lynn versus Jordan again. Oh my God. Oh my God. Facing the Yankees now. Are you kidding me? Again, if we somehow make it to the World Series, does that mean I make a billion dollars? If so, I'm down, okay? I'm down. Either way, here we go, game one. We got Dylan Bundy starting. Oh my God. Versus Garrett Cole. Just give me strength. Give me freaking strength. We lost 12 to two. Oh my God. Next up, Tristan McKenzie versus Luis Severino, baby. Lost that one six to nine. Nice. Okay, already down 0-2, but you know what? Lance Lynn, you better come back right here. Come on. Lost by one already. And then Matt Dennis versus Mashiro Tanaka. Okay, yikes. Big yikes, big, big yikes, huge yikes, gigantic yikes, huge yikes, okay? Keep going, the Cubs beat the Yankees, oh my God. And look at this list of people that retired this year. Wow, that's gonna be a sad day. That's gonna be a freaking sad day. Also, Miguel Cabrera couldn't stand for three more home runs. The guy left at 497, are you kidding me? Dude, I would hate to leave it that. I would, that would be itching at me for the rest of my life. If I had 497 home runs and I needed three more and I'm Miguel Cabrera, 
who can still hit bombs. Like, that's that's kind of nuts. Either way, Miguel, GG, my guy, whatever. And again, we're going in for one more season. Last year, we made it to the ALCS. The year before that, the ALDS. Does this mean we're going to make it to the World Series this year? Please let that be it, okay? It doesn't make any sense, but please let that be it. 569 seconds later. All right, here we go. 2022, we're back at it again. Let's hope that we can make it to the World Series this year because we're trying to keep that pattern going, okay? Again, somehow past the draft, we're still doing good. We're 47 and 23 right now. I honestly don't understand what's happening, and I wish that we could get this lucky in rebuilds, okay? That's pretty much it. I'm out. Now, but like, legit, what the heck is this? How the heck is this happening? You know how many teams I've rebuilt that have had way better just everything than this? And they've gone below low 500 yet this team with dylan bundy and lance lynn as their aces not to mention a bullpen that's filled with 70s goes 64 and 32 like what it legit blows my mind i i can't I, I like literally can't i can't speak i can't do anything right now because it blows my mind but i keep thinking about it because we'll have the best like pitching staff then we'll have the best like lineup in the game but yet we still go negative and i'm so yeah, I'm actually going crazy. We're 74 and 37. Let's just keep going, okay? We finish off 104 and 58. What the heck, dude? The lineup must have just gone absolutely insane. Yeah, there we go. Yo, Makata is a 96 now. Look at this. He's got plus sixes, plus sevens, plus fours, plus threes. Not to mention he's happy, so that definitely helps quite a bit, but still, 96 right now. Yo, Makata, absolutely fantastic. Ozzy Albies, absolutely fantastic. Francisco Lindor, okay, yeah, I get it now. But like before, oh, you're out of your mind. What about the pitching staff? Lance Lynn, not horrible considering everything. Tristan McKenzie, probably by far his worst year. Then we got Matt Dennis, who actually did fantastic. Okay, Dylan Bundy did fantastic. Nick Lodolo, he's not supposed to be here, but whatever. I mean, he did very good. Jeffrey just absolutely sucks. What do you know? Probably the most consistently trash guy on this team. Poor Jeffrey. Then we got Emmanuel, who finally did decent. Then we got Corey Black doing fantastic. Adovino doing very good. Then we got Ben down here, just completely killing it from out of nowhere. Taylor doing good. And then Kenley Jansen kind of had an off year. Wow, okay. Like an off year ERA wise, the save's still 46. That's completely insane. So it's still fine, but the ERA was a little bit high this year. But now we got to face Boston. So here we go. Lance Lynn versus Eduardo. There we go. Tristan McKenzie versus Joey. Won that one too. Oh my God. Matt Dennis versus Chris Sale. Okay. Dylan Bundy versus Eduardo again. Okay. And then Lance Lynn versus Steven Matz. That got way too close. I'm going to be honest. That got way too freaking close. All right. Tristan McKenzie now versus the Astros and Lance McCullers. Lost that one. Okay, Matt Dennis versus Jose. Won that one. Alrighty. Lance Lynn versus Josh James. Won that one. Dylan Bundy versus Austin Pruitt. Lost that one somehow. Tristan McKenzie again versus Zach Granke. Won that one. Dude. Dude. Matt Dennis versus Lance McCullers. How? Just one question. How? I need to know. Again, I keep going back to it, but I've had teams that are way better than this, and they haven't even come close to the World Series. Yet the Indians, granted, the offense is nuts. Okay, I get it, but I've had teams that are just as nuts. But the pitching staff does horrible, and the bullpen is not good. Yet with this team, we're in the World Series. Oh my god, I mean... We made it. We freaking made it. I guess I get a billion dollars now, apparently. Like, is that coming in at any time, please? I'd appreciate it. That'd be kind of cool. But now, the big test versus the freaking Reds. Let's go. The Battle of Ohio, by the way. This is kind of nuts, dude. Imagine if this happened in real life. Yo, that'd be crazy, actually. Okay, Lance Lynn versus Luis Castillo, game one. Okay, lost that one. Pretty bad, too. Tristan McKenzie versus Trevor Bauer. Ooh, Trevor Bauer used to be one of the insanely good Indians. Okay, here we go. Tristan McKenzie versus Trevor. Lost that one. Okay. Alrighty. Matt Dennis versus Sonny Gray. There we go. Brought it back a little bit. Dylan Bunny versus John Means. Okay. Lodolo versus Jose. Okay. Lance Lynn versus Luis Castillo. Oh my God. Tristan McKenzie versus Trevor Bauer. We actually freaking did it, baby. How the heck did we just do that? How? We beat the Reds with the pitching stuff that sucks. Okay, either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, leave a like on it, subscribe down below. Oh my God. Hit that post notification bell so you guys will be notified every time I upload. Playoff MVP going to Jose Ramirez and the World Series MVP going to Jose Ramirez. What a beast, dude. What a freaking beast. Either way, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both links are down in the description or they're gonna be like right over there. If you guys want some merch, my merch link is down in the description or below the video. You guys will see like a couple little things. I've been working on a lot more designs for the merch store and there's gonna be a couple more things coming out really, really soon. So I hope you guys do enjoy that. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.